In this lecture, we are going to develop a real-time application on Code.org platform using the basic features of App Lab. So with this application, the admin can publish any news on this application, on this app and other people, others can read the news published by the admin on this app. Now how this app works, that's what we are going to check out. So if suppose admin want to access the admin panel on this application, he is required to type here a uh, newspaper, fine. And here also in the password field, he can write down newspaper. And when he will hit this uh, proceed button automatically, he's going Welcome to get to the admin panel boss. So he's going to get redirected on this screen. Fine. Uh, now here he can make use of these components for publishing the news, for publishing a news both in Hindi as well as in English version. Now let's check out how the readers panel looks like. So if a person want to read the news published by this admin, how he can do that? He need to access the readers panel first by entering reader in the username field and reader in the password field. Now when he will hit this button. Welcome to the readers panel. So this is the screen he is going to get redirected on. Fine. Now how the admin can publish a news on uh, through this panel. That's what we are going to check out. So this is admin's panel right now. You can uh, you know assume it as the device which admin is using for updating the news or for publishing the news. And this is a device which a particular reader is using for uh, checking out the news published by this uh, admin. Now let's suppose uh, this reader knows that the admin is going to publish the news related to uh, this IT field. So what he can do, he can uh, you know make the required selection from this drop down. Let's say IT and from here he can select the preferred language. Let's select Hindi. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's make use of this admin panel and publish our news related to this topic ID and see whether this reader will be able to see the news on his panel automatically or not. So for that, we need to upload a photograph first. I'm going to choose this mobile pic. Okay, and here I have got the news on this notepad. Let's copy this English version from here and I'm pasting it over here. And the Hindi version of this news is this. And I'm pasting it over here. Now let's see what's going to happen if we'll hit this publish button. You successfully published the news. Samsung or Apple ke vikretao sahit mobile phone nirmatao ko utpadan se juri protsahan PLI yojna ke tahat chalu vit varsh ke utpadan lakshya se chukne ki sambhavna hai aur is yojna ki samay seema khatm karne ke liye sarkar se sampark kiya hai. So as you can see, I haven't clicked any button over here. The news got automatically reflected on this reader's panel. Because he want to change the version, the language, so he can make use of this drop down. Let's change the language to English and see what's gonna happen if we'll hit this news button. Mobile phone manufacturers, including Samsung and Apple's vendors, are likely to miss the production target of the current financial year under the Production Linked Incentive, PLI, scheme and have approached the government to roll over timelines of the scheme. Okay. Uh, now, if suppose there are two or more students who are waiting for their, uh, you know, board examination date sheet. 
so for that uh, what they can they can select this education uh, topic from this drop down and here if they want to check out the news in english they can select english version if they want to check it out in hindi they can uh, select hindi version for now i am selecting uh, english and here i am logging into one more readers panel on this third browser so now there are Welcome two readers, readers panel. panel so now there are two readers panel okay now let's check out whether we'll be able to get the news uh, you know in this version in english version uh, related to this education topic which this admin is going to upload on his path through his panel so for that we need to hit this button so it's a real time application you know that that's what is making this application a real time app why because we don't we are not clicking anything uh, on this readers panel the information is getting fetched automatically on these two panels right on this readers panel uh, where is that okay so i'm going to put this english version over here and this hindi version i am putting it over here now it's related to education fine and let's publish the news and check out whether they both will be able to receive the news automatically on their respective panels or not you successfully published the news education minister education ramesh minister pokriyal ramesh pokriyal ramesh would announce the central board of secondary board education, education. Secondary education. CBSE board exam 2021 date sheet on december 31st, date on december 31st. the date sheet for class the date 10 and class 12 will and be class announced 12 by the minister at 6 p.m. the data sheet is the data sheet is expected, data sheet to, be is expected to, be to be available on the official on site on the official site on cbse.nic.in why you heard two uh, different speech sounds just because you know uh, there are two people who are accessing the news at present okay so that is the reason we were able to hear two different voices now let's uh, check out whether we'll be able to fetch the hindi version of this news or not so for doing that the person can hit this news option शिक्षा मंत्री रमेश पोखरियाल निशंक 1931 दिसंबर को केंद्रीय माध्यमिक शिक्षा बोर्ड (CBSE) बोर्ड परीक्षा 2021 की डेट शीट की घोषणा करेंगे कक्षा 10 और कक्षा 12 के लिए तारीख शीट की घोषणा मंत्री द्वारा शाम 6 बजे की जाएगी CBSE की आधिकारिक रमेश पोखरियाल निशंक को डेटा शीट तीस दिसम्बर को केंद्रीय माध्यमिक शिक्षा बोर्ड सी बी एस ई बोर्ड परीक्षा दो हजार इक्कीस की डेट शीट की घोषणा करेंगे कक्षा दस और कक्षा बारह के लिए तारीख शीट की घोषणा मंत्री द्वारा शाम छह बजे की जाएगी सी बी एस ई की आधिकारिक साइट पर उम्मीदवारों को डेटा शीट उपलब्ध होने की उम्मीद है on which i am going to access this app through this link fine and here what i am going to do i am going to publish a news uh, let's say related to corona update fine and here i am going to choose this corona update topic so this is the english version of corona update and this one is the hindi version okay now let's publish the news you successfully published the news okay and here i am going to enter the readers login credential so now if suppose welcome to the readers panel if suppose this person 
has logged in into the app and he want to check out the news which the admin has published uh, related to any of these topics let's uh, check out the news related to this corona update topic first so if suppose you want to check out this uh, news related to this topic in hindi so he can make he can select the required option from these drop downs and then he can hit this news button over here भारत ने पिछले 24 घंटों में 18,732 नए कोविड 19 मामले दर्ज किए जो रविवार सुबह 8 बजे समाप्त हुए यह जून के बाद से संक्रमण में सबसे कम दैनिक स्पाइक है इस सप्ताह में यह दूसरी बार है कि दैनिक मामलों की संख्या 20,000 से नीचे चली गई है एक डॉट शून्य एक करोड़ मामलों में सक्रिय संक्रमण 2.78 लाख है आज लगातार दूसरे दिन भी निशान है कि शनिवार को टोल 300 से कम रह गया है दो की मौत नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सेस दिस ऐप ऑन दिस न्यू ब्राउजर एंड चेक वेदर आई विल बी एबल टू फेच द न्यूज इन इंग्लिश और नॉट Welcome to the Corona reader's update, panel. And it is English, which I'm selecting, and I'm able to face the news, right? India reported 18,732 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, ending 8 a.m. Sunday. This is the lowest daily spike in infections since June. This is the second time in the week that the daily cases number has dropped below 20,000. Of the 1.01 crore cases, active infections stand at 2.78 lakh. Today also marks the second consecutive day that the toll has remained below 300 to 279 deaths reported on Saturday. Okay now if suppose uh, this person want to fetch the news related to let's say education okay which had been published by this admin earlier so can he do that Yes he is able to do that Education Minister Ramesh Pokhrel Nishank would announce the Central Board of Secondary Education CBSE board exam 2021 date sheet on December 31st. The date sheet for class 10 and class 12 will be announced by the minister at 6 p.m. The data sheet is expected to be available to candidates on the official site of CBSE on cbse.nic.in. Okay, uh सैमसंग और एप्पल के विक्रेताओं सहित मोबाइल फोन निर्माताओं को उत्पादन से जुड़ी प्रोत्साहन (PLI) योजना के तहत चालू वित्त वर्ष के उत्पादन लक्ष्य से चुकने की संभावना है और इस योजना की समय सीमा खत्म करने के लिए सरकार से संपर्क किया है Okay so that that's how you know this app works now let's check out the code which we guys can make use of for making this beautiful application so this is the whole code which i have made use of for designing this beautiful application i'd shown you uh so this is a proceed button and this is a code which is going to get executed when the user will hit this proceed button So if the username is equal to equal to newspaper and the password is also equal to equal to newspaper this is a code which is going to get executed the user is going to get redirected on this newspaper app newspaper screen similarly if the username is equal to equal to reader and the password is equal to equal to reader he is going to get redirected on this reader screen okay so that's how these is screen screens can be accessed now uh, when the admin will hit this publish button over here this is a code which is going to get executed so a, a table with name news will get created on the data browser and there are four columns which will get created inside this table one with name photo then it is english text and then it is hindi text and then the topic okay uh, so these are the four columns which are there in this 
news table and this is the code which is going to get executed once the table gets successfully created on the data browser connected to this app fine now let's come on this uh, on event block i have defined for this get news component so when the user will hit this get news component he will be able to fetch the records from the news table which got created on the data browser when the admin published the news so there is a condition i have defined over here the topic should be equal to the text which uh, is getting reflected over here or the topic should be equal to the topic the user is going to select from this first drop down fine then there is a for loop and after that the image one this is the image component i have made use of here okay so the image for this image component is going to get set uh, by this code okay and then it is language if suppose a language which the user has chosen uh, from this drop down is hindi then he is going to hear everything which is getting reflected inside this text in hindi otherwise he is going to hear everything whatever is getting reflected in this news box in english so this is the code i have made use of for converting the text form into a speech form and if the language is hindi then the user will hear this speech in hindi otherwise he will hear this speech in english fine and this is a code which is actually uh, you know with which we can we are getting the news automatically on the news uh, panel on the readers news panel so uh, when the records will get created so this is the whole code which is going to get executed the records are going to get pulled up from the news table and they will get automatically reflected on the readers panel okay even if the user the reader hasn't clicked this button then also the new he will be able to see the recently published news the rec the news which the admin has published on this app recently through this code which i have defined over here so there is a for loop inside this read block i made use of and here where you know you, this code is going to set the image for this image one component and if the language the user has chosen is hindi he is going to hear everything in hindi otherwise he is going to hear everything in english so you know that's how this is the code which i have made use of for developing this beautiful english uh, hindi newspaper okay hope you guys uh, enjoyed this lecture a lot please do like and subscribe to my channel and also keep sharing the link of the videos in your group so that more and more people can join the channel and enjoy free online coding classes i am giving on my channel thank you very much for your support have a great day